Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in a squat position? Is that because this is an intro for my video, which is called Squat Talk. I have another channel called Squat Talk, but I'm bringing all the videos to my main channel, Strong with Raj. The basic idea is that I will make a video and speak to you guys in a squat position. And I'm hoping and requesting that you will also listen and watch the video in a squat position. There could be anywhere from two to four to maybe eight minutes. This will ensure that I am in a squat position on a regular basis, maybe daily. And also it can help you if you want to be able to go back to the roots and be comfortable in taking a position of squat. As you know, I'm big into strength training, big into back squats, deadlifts and other things. But this particular playlist is just about being able to be in a squat position like we always have been and maybe restart and recreate that habit that we've forgotten to be in a squat position. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So today we're going to talk about how is squat this position is good for the back. It is good in two ways. First, in a way that you will not expect it to be and that is you're resting your back. When you rest your back, mostly you have pushed it against a couch or a back of the chair and you just lean back and back and back. In that, your knees and hips are not bent as they should be in a squat position. And but your back also goes just goes crazy. In this position, if you are able to, then almost some part of your core, your abdominal muscles are engaged without you having to do anything. And at the same time, the actual back, the 33 vertebrae, the little disc put together, they are resting a little bit. When we are standing up and doing stuff, there is a certain pressure on them through the day in a standing position. And when we do this, we just relax, okay? So it's a relaxation to the, to the back and a little bit of activation of the core. If you look from the side, the kind of squat that I take, there is a little curve in the back. So those little vertebrae, those discs are slightly curved. I am a kyphotic type of person. I have a little natural curve on the top. But if you remember watching your grandpa or someone who's really old, you will see what a big hump they have on their upper back, mostly they're hunched over, which is a quite typical image of an old man. We don't want that. This, this squat helps us maintain that kind of position and hopefully avoid that kyphosis that may happen to you. But if we go on sitting on chair for as long as we do, it is likely to happen. What you can also do is make sure that you can activate your back more. That is totally up to you. Because I promote this as an active position, I don't want to make it an exercise. But what you can do is hands on the knees, nice and tight, and push your chin up and look up straight. See how my back is now straight? And relax. You can make it even more active, a bit more up. You're still in squat, but your back is now fully extended. Remember, this is extension, this is flexion. I have made a video where I did an anatomical 101 about what is extension and what is flexion. If you want to check it out, just click here, somewhere here. <laughs> so I want to promote that our squat position is knees and hips bent hands are free and your back is slightly curved, no problem with that. You're going to have more of a curve in your lower back because the pelvis just pulls it under. On the top, I am a little kyphotic, so I'll, you'll see more of a curve, but it depends from individual to individual and it is not a problem. So every now and then if you want, I would suggest you really up like this. So this is extension where all the vertebrae are coming together tight and they're a little open in flexion. Cool? Apart from that, as you know, all other joints really of the lower body are bent. This here, ankle, is called dorsiflexion. Knees are flexed, 
hips are flexed. With arms, you can do anything. I like to have them here in Namaste. I like to have the gratitude. And with the back, I like to have it slightly round. But every now and then, when um, I have a little sore back, I like doing this. Down, up, down. Also, I push my knees out. When I push my knees out, my hip joint is getting moving and lubricated. That also relieves my lower back pain. I'm not saying it's going to do to you, but that it does to me. Okay? I do like to make this position active every now and then. Move around. But this video was all about the position of your back. What various things you can do. What really happens to your back and how it can benefit you. Let's just make a sort of... Uh, pledge if you're a man that at age 80 or 90 you don't want to have a hunchback remain up like this nice and strong okay this was it it's very quick and short video i'll see you next time